Hi thinkers, welcome to the Artificial Intelligence playlist on ThinkX Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to start with propositional logic in artificial intelligence. So basically in this uh, series, in this playlist of artificial intelligence, we have already covered a lot of algorithms like hill climbing. Then we have studied about heuristics and uh, alpha beta pruning, best first search. We have studied a lot of algorithms where basically we have also covered game playing algorithms also. So basically we know that how an AI works is by starting with some node and uh, going to a goal state, finding the best path, all of that. That comes in the first phase or first side of artificial intelligence. There is a second phase of artificial intelligence, which is very important, which is known as reasoning and logic. Reasoning and logic, just like we humans, we uh, have some knowledge and according to that knowledge, uh, we form some of our logics, we, which may be true or not, but there are some logics which we make in our daily lives. Similar to that, the AI systems are also capable of uh, making these types of logic. So we are going to start with very simple uh, logic system, which is the propositional logic. So before starting with the video, make sure to like this video and subscribe our channel because I keep creating this awesome free content for you guys. So now let's get started. The first thing we need to understand uh, before understanding propositional logic is what exactly is a logic. So I'm going to give you a very, uh, very formal definition of logic here. So here I have written the logic definition which says that it is the study of rules of inference on the basis of set of premises, right? So this is the formal definition, right? So let's break down this definition. Let's try to understand uh, what exactly is a logic, right? So uh, here you can see we have two important terms, which is premises and rules of inference. These are very important term and at this point understanding what exactly is a logic is very important because in the further coming tutorials we will uh, cover a lot of things related to propositional logic and there is another one which is the predicate logic and we also have a logic programming language for AI which is prolog programming. So it is essential that at this point you focus on this very important definition here. So it is the study of rules of inference, right? Uh, what is the rules of inference? I've written here, it is the relations that takes premises to give some conclusion, right? So I'm going to explain this with the help of a very simple example here. So let's say there is a company A and let's say I have a very simple example here that there is a company A and let's say the, this company actually deals with automobiles like cars and all of that stuff, right? So what is premises? Premises is basically truth or the statements that actually reveal uh, some truth statements and basically uh, whether they are truth or not, it is an assumption that it is a truth, right? So let's say we have a company A and I have some knowledge or, uh, or we can say some statements which are true about this company, right? So let's say that I have uh, some knowledge about this company that the production in this company, right? So the production in this company is going to rise, right? In the next coming week, the production in this company is going to rise. This is one of the truth statement that I have uh, made. I'm saying here, it is an assumption, right? Now I have some more truth statement about this company. The first thing is the production is going to rise. So let's say that uh, we have some uh, more uh, things about this company A, which is let's say the stocks of this company uh, are actually rising for past one week, right? So the stocks of this company A is also rising past one week. It has a rise in the stocks and the production is also rising. So I have these two statements which are true statements. Now, based on these statements, I will have to derive a logic that whether, right, I'm going to write here whether I should buy 
stocks of the company A. Right, so I have this very simple question here. Right, I want to derive a logic out of this premises. Right, so whether I should buy the stocks of company A, for that I need two things. The first thing is some of the knowledge which I believe is true, which I assume to be true. So I need that knowledge to actually derive a logic, right? That's a very complete traditional way. In uh, your real life also, you can relate it that whenever you want to derive a logic, you will first have to actually analyze the some of the statements and some of the experiences. And the second thing which is important is rules of inference. Rules of inference are basically rules. What it does is it takes this knowledge and then it analyzes that knowledge and then it gives a conclusion, right? So here you can see I have written here to give conclusion, right? And acceptance, acceptance of premises, right? So if I'm given some statements, I'm going to derive a logic whether I should buy the stocks of this company on the basis of some rules, right? So those rules can be anything. For example, let's say there is a rule which says that if the production of a company is rising and the stocks are also rising past one week, then you should buy the stocks. And let's say there is some logic which says that, which is contradictory, which says that the production, if the production is rising and even if the stocks is rising past one week, you may or may not consider buying the stocks. Right, so this is a very important thing. Whenever we want to derive a logic, first we consider premises, which is basically the statements that reveal the truth, and then we supply these statements to the rules of inferences. Rules of inferences are basically rules which give or infer something. Infer means giving a conclusion, right? So they, they give conclusion. In the upcoming tutorials, they will study about modest ponens law which is actually a rule of inference only. So basically this is a very, uh, you can say a simple explanation of what exactly is a logic. So I hope you have understood at this point what is a logic. It is crucial to understand this point because uh, the rest of the AI course will include all the different types of logic, propositional, predicate logic and uh, a lot of things are there. So it is crucial that you understand this uh, definition here. Now logics are of different types, right? There are mathematical logic, propositional logic, predicate logic, formal, informal logic. There are various types of logic. In AI, we are going to concern, we, are, we will be concerned about propositional logic and predicate logic. In this tutorial, I'm just going to cover the propositional logic. What is a propositional logic? Propositional logic is also just a same logic. It is going to have some uh, premises and some rules of inferences, but the conclusion that will come out of these relations or functions is going to be either true or it will be false, right? True or false. If, uh, if let's say the conclusion is can be true or a false, uh, then we can say that it is a propositional logic, right? So if it is true or false, I can say that it is a propositional logic. If it is, uh, let's say if there is some conclusion where uh, it can be true and it can be false also, we do not call it as a proposition, we call it as a paradox, right? So if, uh, let's say I give a very simple statement, let's say there is a statement, I will mark this statement as P. Right, I'm going to uh, say that uh, let's uh, let's take some example of propositional logic. So a proposition is true or false, right? So let's say two plus two is equals to four. So is this a proposition? The answer is yes. Why? Because this statement will evaluate to be true. Right. Now I have another statement which is Q, and I say two plus two is equals to five. Is this a proposition? Yes, this is also a proposition because this is false. Right? So whatever statement you will have, it does not need to be a mathematical statement. It can be some other statements also like, uh, is it raining today or some questions 
are not included in propositions right so if uh, someone let's say there is a statement that says what is the time right now this statement is neither true it is not false so it is just a question so it is not a proposition right so this is not a proposition so basically propositions are statements with a, which are either true or they can be false they can be mathematical statements or some real life statements also so let's say i say that i have uh, two apples right if i have those two apples i'll say it is true if i say that i don't have apples and uh, it can be false also right so this way we derive propositions now one important thing is that all the propositional statements or the propositional logic has five important symbols right these are the five important symbols here which i have drawn the first one is the negation conjunction disjunction implication and biconditional these are the five important symbols of propositional logic using these symbols we can combine multiple statements and using some logics and properties of these operators we can actually derive a logic out of these right so let's say i'm given some statements p q r s and let's say these statements we will consider some examples in the next tutorial also when we will study how we can actually take some statements apply these operators and using the propositional logic we can say whether something is true or false right because that's the meaning that that's the essential meaning of proposition so let's study the first one which is the negation so here you can see we have a statement p let's take another statement i will take i'm just going to remove this statement p right so here i will take a statement p which is let's say i am intelligent right so this is a statement p that i am intelligent what is the negation of p negation of p means i am not intelligent right so this is uh, the meaning of negation the second thing is conjunction conjunction basically means and so i'm just going to write here and operator so here i say i am intelligent let's take another statement which is q statement and here i will say that i am hard working right now if i say p conjunction q what does this mean this means that i am intelligent and i am hard working so this conjunction basically means and now disjunction if i say p disjunction q or you can even say p or q right so it is similar to or operator so i am intelligent or i am hard working right one of them is true now we have implication right implication are of two types one is single sided the second one is biconditional which means both sides can be true right so here i will take uh, another example right so here i will say in case of single implement uh, single implication let's take a very simple example here i will write i will go to the shop right this is the first statement the second statement is q right which is i want to buy groceries right so now i will write a statement here q implication p what does this mean this means that i want to buy groceries which implies that i will go to the shop right so if you want to buy the groceries you will have to go to the shop so this is single implement uh, single implication right this implies this now we have double implication i i will take another example for that you can even construct your own examples to understand this so this means that if this is true this is implied right so that's the basic thing now let's take a look at biconditional biconditional means both side is true which means that if one implies something 
then the that second thing will also imply the first thing right so let's take an example so the first thing is let's say i am alive right and the second statement says that i am breathing now i say p double implication q or biconditional q so what does this mean this means that p means i am alive which implies that i am breathing right so if i am alive it implies that i am breathing right just consider it as a single impl implication first so p implies q which means i am alive implies that i am also breathing now just consider the opposite right which is q implies p so is q imply p true right so q says i am breathing and obviously since i am breathing i am alive so q implies p is also correct so p double implica implication or by condition q means that if one statement is implying the other statement the other statement will also imply the first statement right so it is going to be like this so these are the five important tools uh, you can say five important symbols that are used in propositional logic to actually derive the logic right our or uh, our core objective is to derive a logic because we want to build a reasoning system in the ai right we want to build reasoning in ai for that we will we will use the knowledge all of these statements here p q all of these statements this is knowledge right this is knowledge you can say data or something else this knowledge will have some rules right in the next tutorial we will study about some of the properties of these operators and rules what we will do is we will use this these statements and then we will give give the, these statements in the uh, using these operators and some rules and that will be able to give us the logic or the reasoning right so that's the whole crux of propositional logic in ai uh, in artificial intelligence so basically that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching